Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, excuse my uh, incredibly deep voice today. I'm suffering from a bit of a, a bit of a cough and a cold, but never mind. We'll get through it. Um, we're going to take a look at this uh, Jisuku, which is made in Taiwan, uh, plastic palette for watercolor. You can see the the depth of it, and so on. We'll do some comparisons in a second. So that's that one with. Um, the Liz Deacon uh, palette from Herring in Dorchester in England. Now, the first thing that comes straight to mind if we put these two on each end, there we go, you can see the widths of them. So the actual width, the Liz Deacon, this one here, much wider, um, and the Just Q, obviously, much slimmer. So it depends what you want on that one, doesn't it? On size, similar size, not much in the size, but on the depth, you can see considerable distance, a difference even. So let's go down and start to look at some of the features. We'll look at the wells. That's where we're going to pop in liquid paint inside here. These are much deeper. I've already measured these, they're about 15 millimeters from from there to there so you're going to be able to get a lot of liquid in whereas the uh, just Q you can see already it's about five millimeters so the depth uh, you can see there of these wells this palette the Liz Deacon is about three times deeper than this one uh, if you paint outside like I do and you use large paper and large brushes as I do, then this is more useful. Um, otherwise, not a concern. So, uh, now let's move on to the construction in terms of the uh, hinges of them. Let's have a quick look. As you can see, the hinges in here and here. Obviously, there's a plastic pin that fits in. It opens and shuts quite nicely. Clips down, it's not too bad. Opens out, fine. Construction of this one, the hinges seem more robust. You can actually see almost like proper hinges there. There is also a metal inside those hinges. So there's a small metal rod which is going to help a lot. Um, feels nicer and clicks down and locks down more securely so there we go that's looking at the construction um, in terms of usefulness as I said earlier I find this more useful for my type of painting the Liz Deacon uh, with the deep wells we can have a look at the pans here they don't come with the pans these are completely empty um, this holds one more pan and if we have a look on this side you can also see if we look specifically at the pans these pans are a little bit wider um, about the same length, a bit wider, but not as deep. So these on the uh, Juxu are not as deep as oh, these on the Liz Deacon. There's, again, obviously, it's going down five, uh, 15 millimeters rather. And here it's only going down to the five. Yep, yeah, so the Just Q, not as deep, but wider. Doesn't worry me too much. The nice thing is it's got a lip on the end, so that's not going to paint's not going to just drift into the well and the same again on the Liz Deacon let's have a look the paint is definitely not going to drip into the well even though there's a slight beveled edge that goes up there so but it's quite nice you can see as you mix up in here the water is going to run back down which which is another great feature so the water will run back down because of this uh, beveled edge so that's quite nice um, if we need to look now at the uh, special features, and there are some special features on both of them that I just want to point out. On the first one, on the Just Q, there is a hole for holding, so you can hold the palette quite nicely. Pop your finger through there, it's quite good. Um, also, here for brushes to pop into, uh, you've got a bigger brush size and smaller brush size which would be quite useful if you want to uh, just have a brush to hand I quite like that feature that's quite nice 
so that's its own unique feature. On the Liz Deakin, there is a really interesting, there's no place to hold this pallet, but I don't mind, you can either hold left or right. Um, there's one unique feature on this, on the back, camera tripod would fit in there, which actually in itself is quite useful, because you can imagine that fixed uh, into there. Anyway, so looking at the two, you've got the Liz Deakin, Heron, um, Dorchester, made in England, nice palette. I use this one a lot outside. And also the um, Just Q made in Taiwan. This is about half the price. So this is probably double. This one more expensive, the Liz Deacon, than this one. But both very adequate. Both have their good points and their bad points. And I've had these for quite a few years yeah, now and they've actually done really, really well. Finally, construction wise, it's going about this is this is thicker plastic. This is slightly thinner, but not too much. So thanks for watching uh, this product review of the Liz Deacon uh, palette versus the Just Q Taiwan palette. And uh, remember to subscribe, uh, keep watching my videos, and take care now.